Let's take a look at which fraction here, 3 eighths or 4 sevenths, is greater. And here's how you could do it. First, you could take a calculator, put 3 and divided by 8, 4 divided by 7, and then just compare those decimals. That would tell you which one of these fractions is bigger. You could also find a common denominator so that we'd have the same denominator for both of these, and we could just compare the numerator. Let's do that. Why don't we just multiply 8 times 7, and that gives us 56 here as our denominator. And then down here, let's multiply 7 times 8, and that would equal 56 as well. So now we have the same denominator. But we can't just multiply the denominator here by 8. We do need to multiply the numerator by 8 as well, because 8 over 8, that's just 1. So we're really just multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's written. 4 times 8, that is 32. Up here, we want to have 3 times 7. So we have 7 over 7. 3 times 7 is 21. And now we have the same denominator. We just compare the numerators. 32 is greater than 21. So 32 56, that's greater than 21 56. And these are equivalent fractions here. So 4 sevenths, that's going to be greater than 3 eighths. And we can tell exactly how much bigger. 32 minus 21, that would be 11. So 4 sevenths is 11 56 bigger than 3 eighths. There you go. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.